They're all hot. <laughs> now, you know, I'm not a hero, but I sort of imagine, like most uh, people, I think of myself as reasonably, not brave, but you know, sanguine or, you know, cool about most things. And um, I said that after, after we, we got this film, we were watching this film, it was, it was, you know, a heroic film, and it wasn't, I was thinking, I can't do any of that stuff, but I, I can't remember the last time I was really afraid. And my wife said, oh, well, I can. <laughs> we were watching television, and she was right, because it, it was one of those scary films. I wasn't scared by the, I love scary, bad, scary films. That's what it was. It was from the 70s or 80s. It was terrible. It was, you know, a creaky landing, and a woman with a nightgown with a candle, and there's a window with net curtains going, ooh, and my wife was petrified. Uh, it's uh, very funny, watching it, something terrible. I wasn't watching the film, I was just watching her. Because she was going, oh, the candle, the curtain, the curtain, the candle. Oh, something's going to happen. <laughs> I, th I was laughing and falling around. I went to get some more wine or a cup of tea or whatever it was. I came back up and she'd flipped to that thing where babies, actual babies, are coming out of real people. <laughs> Born in a minute, that thing. And they're, they're, they're coming out. And I was going, ah, no, no, no. And she was there, what's the matter? Eating lasagna. It's just twins. And <laughs> she was feeling very brave then, but she couldn't handle it if there were curtains down there going, oh, oh. <laughs> And the babies came out with a candle going, ah. And so different things get you. And uh, the other thing that got me was we were walking along the river. And um, I'm not a, I'm not a, I, I don't like heights or the dark. They're pretty much universal fears. I thought I was good with everything else, but I don't like small flying objects coming at me at high speed. <laughs> and that's what happened. A small flying object came at me at high speed. I shrieked as I fell. I'm a practical person. And <clears throat> got into the fetal position. You hear a lot about how empathetic women are. I'm not sure how empathetic my wife was feeling at the time because she was busy laughing. And um, it was that silent laughter where nothing, she's just rocking. And after about half a minute, she was able to work me into her schedule and go, a leaf, a leaf, a leaf. <laughs> In some cultures, people would probably call that fear. And, um, <clears throat> but I, actually, I've talked for far too long. I should go. The, um, I'm going to tell you this, and then I'm going to go. I don't think, I don't, oh, thank you. That's very, that's very, there's nothing left. The, <laughs> There is, I'm, there is, but I'm not going to remember it. <laughs> you get to a certain point, and that's it. The car stops. <laughs> then it's this, OK? Uh, the, one of the few things I can imagine that probably is easier, a bit easier for women, uh, if, if you happen to be a, a woman, is flirting. <laughs> that's because it's hard for men. There's no guide. At least there's a protocol for women. There's a template. There's something you've seen before, you know, in films and so on. A woman talking to someone, going, oh, yeah, kind of interested, maybe a little bit talking, and then maybe slightly laughing. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose it's possible. And, the, and then slightly more intrigued and looking and listening. And, mm, yeah, maybe, and then maybe slightly shy about her own interests, looking away, but not being able to resist looking back, frankly, more interested this time and looking and thinking. And then <laughs> laughing and enjoying it. Oh, you really are, rather. Mm. And then revealing something more of herself, possibly, maybe, just, just as a suggestion by accident, and, and then disappearing. So that person's left going, who's that amazing woman? Wow! Try that as a man. <laughs> Talking to a woman going, is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a, ha ha! Yeah, it's a, oh, I look too interested there. Look away, wait, 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 wait. wait. I can't help it, I have to look back. I'm really interested. Ha ha ha! Judging just the right amount of scrotum to reveal before you. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Bye bye. I forgot to think. <laughs> it's not a huge surprise. Um, so look, I, I'm going to do this. This is what happened. This book came out a couple of years ago, 
And it was there. It was there. It was very famous. I was around for a while. And it was around for a long time, actually. And the movie's just out recently. And when the book came out, I was thinking, oh, that'll go away. And it didn't. So I got very intrigued. I went down to the bookshop and I read a little bit standing there. It was called um, Fifty Shades of Grey. And, <laughs> and it's just an erotic novel. It's written, you know, it's targeted at women. Um, so, it's, you know, it's obviously interesting. And, uh, well, it is, because it's such a success. And I, I thought, I was reading a bit, and I thought, this is, you know, this is it's kind of funny. Uh, but it's also got to be, this is possibly an easier way to make a living. <laughs> so, I started, I started, it doesn't have a title. There's no title. It's just, it's just called Erotic Fiction Blockbuster, okay? <laughs> so I hope my hair looks good. The, um, <clears throat> If you get aroused, don't worry about it, it's happening to everybody. <laughs> yes! You see that straight in there. <laughs> yes, she said, looping with her fingers a wayward glossy comma of fringe from her brow. <laughs> yes, 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 yes! <laughs> Who are you, he said. What are you doing in my bathroom? <laughs> she approached him like a panther, a drunk panther who was walking on their back legs as a party trick. <laughs> she looked at his midriff, naked under his vest, shirt, cardigan, and three-quarter length duffel coat. <laughs> Her breast heaved. She saw the Tesco's bag twisting against his knee. <laughs> Her other breast heaved. <laughs> What's in the bag, she said. He stepped closer, wary, frightened, disbelieving, disorientated, but definitely aroused. <laughs> What's in my bag, he said. <laughs> she raised her chin to him, showing no trepidation apart from some brief, intense fiddling with her hospital bracelet. He stepped closer, cruelly, deliciously, his duffel buttons pressed into her. She thought she might come right there all over the loofah and everything. <laughs> his gaze was stern, unyielding, like an Easter Island head stuck in traffic. <laughs> Soup, he said! Although, because he had a cleft palate, it came out as cloop! <laughs> Bite me using only your gums, she screamed. <laughs> Fling me into a windmill. <laughs> Hide my phone charger. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you later. Night-night. <laughs>